Hey everybody, Bill and Deb. And Delilah. Yeah. <laughs> she's liking the sun this morning. She's, she's been just a little clingy lately. She gets that way now and then. Now and then. Well, we're back here in Northwest Arkansas for a little while. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's just, we're going to get two springs. Yeah. Because well, we had a spring in Florida and now we're getting spring in Arkansas. I know. <laughs> and, you know, we're used to seeing uh, trees with gr green, green leaves on them and yeah. all that stuff. And here it's still, the trees the, are. The Bartlett pears are just blooming and yeah. the redwoods are just starting to bloom and they were already in full bloom. Uh, when we were down in Florida. Right. So I guess we should be, uh, instead of complaining about the cooler temperatures, we should be positive that we're getting two springs, and spring is my favorite time of year. Well, personally, myself, <laughs> I'm ready to head south again. <laughs> I, think, I think next year when we go back down to the southeast corner of the country. We're going to figure out a different plan. Figure out a way to <laughs> hang down there uh, about an extra month before we come back here to take care of business. We're going to try to get things arranged where we can shift things down about a month, you know. Well, yeah. <laughs> it just means leaving later. <laughs> well, well, this is true, but we've still got to do a few things, you know, as far as doctor appointments are, are yeah, concerned, stuff like that. To, to, and and prepare taxes ahead of time. Well, we will figure that out later. <laughs> we'll figure there's, it all out. There's a way to get it done. <laughs> and when we figure that out, we'll share with you how we did it. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> there you go, once we figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're back here in uh, the, this particular campground that we're at. We won't reveal the name of the campground yet, but there are a total of 13, am I correct, 13 different Corps of Engineer campgrounds around Beaver Lake. I believe that is Beaver correct. Beaver Lake up in northwest yeah. Arkansas. And of all of them, this is uh, quite honestly one of our least favorite ones. Yeah, the only thing good yeah. about this one is we have excellent cell phone internet service. Right. And we have ex I mean, we're just four miles from town, so, you know. Yeah. But... And, uh, yeah, and, and with all the things we got to get done in town, it's real convenient for us to get all that done. Exactly. You know? yeah. That's why we're at this campground. And by the way, this is Sunday. We call it Mass Exodus Day. So there are a lot of folks that have been camping here over the weekend that are uh, getting ready to pull out, and our neighbors are doing that over there. But uh, you might hear some, some of that going on. Don't know for sure. We're using our... Uh, uh, road go to wireless mics today, so it might. And the wind's blowing. And the wind's blowing, so I hope we're going to figure out how these things are working. But anyway, uh, yeah, what we wanted to do briefly here today is is give you an example of what we've been talking about for the last several months, off and on, in our videos. And we talk about the fact that uh, we carry uh, a lot of leveling blocks, and we like to use those Camco. I call them Lego style blocks. And the reason why is because we've been in so many different campgrounds. Not all of them are gonna be level where you just have to use one or two blocks here. Or there's that other kind out there, you know, that's the wedgie design that you can pull up on it and it'll raise you four inches on one side and stuff like that. We tried those and personally ourselves, they didn't work too well for us. So we're we're back to the- uh, But other people love them, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe I was doing something wrong. Maybe so. I think Mary told me that they had a, a pad you're supposed to lay them on right. to keep them from slipping. And we didn't. Yeah, every time we try to back up on them, they, they just, go they, they, yeah. projectiles. <laughs> but um, because of the different places we go mm -hmm. and the different kinds of campgrounds that we stay at, and some of them will be uh, a little out of whack, you know, the, the pads, uh, we just found that the Camco leveling blocks work better for us. So. And we carry a wide variety. I, I have been saying that we carry six sets, but I need to digress on that a little bit because I just remembered that we did give a few of the blocks to the people that bought our red trailer. We had them set up, had the red trailer set up on a few blocks and at their property. So uh, we went ahead and said, just keep these leveling blocks, and, but admonish them to go ahead and buy more because we figured they're going to need them somewhere down the line. Somewhere down the line. So we don't have a full six sets, but we carry a variety of the large ones, which are the long ones, and then we carry a uh, 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 an assortment of the small ones, which are square, and they do interchange. And this particular spot that we're at is a prime example of why we carry so many blocks. <laughs> 
So I'm going to take off and walk around the trailer a little bit here and visit with them about uh, what we had to do here in order to get our trailer level. And I'm going to admit as well that I should have taken one more step, which I did not do. Uh, yeah. Really? I didn't even mention it to you because I didn't want you to worry. Everything is okay. <laughs> Everything is okay. Now I'm gonna worry. <laughs> but I could have, I could have taken one more step, and it would have been a little bit better. And I'm gonna show that to you. So hang on just a minute. We're gonna walk around here to the other side of the trailer, and then we'll be back. I guess first though, we ought to start on this side of the trailer. And uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I did put on this side, I did put uh, just one block high on both wheels here. And yeah, I've got a uh, I've got a wheel chalk right there. Now those are those rubber, heavy duty rubber wheel chalks. You can get them at Harbor Freight and they work real, real, real well for us. But you can see the other uh, one block that I put underneath the tires over here. But let's walk around here over to the other side. And first, before we do that though, I do want you to take note of how high I'm sitting at the back as opposed to how low we're sitting at the front. And this was so we could get the tra trailer level, you know, fore and aft. We had to drop it quite a bit. One advantage that we have is the fact that we do have straight axles on this trailer. And this is one reason why I wanted to go ahead and add straight axles is because it would give me a little bit more clearance, a little more lift. My trailer would already be, already be setting a little bit higher uh, before we went to go leveling. Now just imagine if I was on the standard four inch drop axles in order to get this thing level fore and aft you can see what I had to do you can see how high it is at the back as opposed to the front now imagine if this trailer was setting four inches lower than it is right now if I had the four inch drop axles um, I mean it doesn't take much to figure out that I would almost be on the ground here with my with the tongue of my trailer you know so keep that in mind that's one reason why we went with the straight axles because of the different places we go. So here we go. We ended up, in order to get this thing level from side to side, the way this pad is shaped, it drops off quite a bit on the driver's side of the trailer. So I ended up raising it three blocks high here. Now for added, uh, and here I, I wanna point this out, I do have a uh, Harbor Freight, another one of those Harbor Freight rubber chalks here. Those things really work well. Um, I really, really do like them, and they're not expensive, and you know I can use them in so many different ways. But you can see here that I had to go three blocks high as opposed to the one block on the other side in order to end up getting this thing level. And just for added insurance, I went ahead and put my spare tire right here to also act as an extra stop. Now, one thing we found uh, after traveling for three years when it comes to the uh, to the stabilizer jacks, and we have the scissor jacks on this one, uh, on all four corners, we found that if you try to keep them, let them go nowhere beyond about a 45 degree angle. Let me get over here so you can see that. If you try to make sure that they don't go any further than a 45 degree angle, uh, you're gonna find that your trailer, once you get everything, all your stabilizer jacks down and everything, that the, the feel on the inside is gonna feel a lot more secure. It's gonna be a lot more firm, if you know what I mean. No uh, extra wobbling around and stuff like that. So, uh, in order to make sure that I don't go beyond the 45 degree angle, I have to carry quite a few, of, of, again, of these Camco leveling blocks in order to uh, stack them up to the right height so I can keep those from going beyond the 45 degree angle. If you crank them on beyond the 45 degree angle, you put too much stress this way on your jacks. And here again, you will also have more issues with it feeling unstable when you're walking around inside. Uh, when we're walking around inside right now, this thing feels as solid as a rock right now. So you can see that I had to do it there and also, you know, use the block underneath here. Now here I only use one block. That's all I had to use right there. But, uh, and on the same thing on the other side. Now, I do want to mention that because we were on such a steep angle here, while I was setting up the trailer, I did go ahead, of course I had to, 
go ahead and you know lift the trailer off of the ball but um, my safety chains are long enough that I could barely ease the truck the, the van forward just a little bit uh, and still leave my safety chains hooked up and I did not unhook my safety chains until I was certain that I had this trailer as secure as possible and what I did first was drop my stabilizer jacks on the back first and uh, then I uh, came and dropped the stabilizer jacks on the front and then only then once I had my wheel chocks in place my X chocks in place the spare tire in place as an extra wheel chalk only then did I go ahead and unhook my safety chains now also what I will be doing when I hook back up I will back up as close as I can get to the ball hitch here and I will hook my ch safety chains up first before I start letting anything loose here at all, before I do anything. And what I usually like to do there is just raise my uh, leveling jacks or my, I, I keep calling them leveling jacks and they're not, they are stabilizer jacks. You do not use these jacks for leveling jacks. Uh, stabilizer jacks I usually just lift my uh, stabilizer jacks on the back first and then I go ahead and hook up to the ball hitch and then I go ahead and raise the rest of them but uh, you know little precautions you got to take just to make sure that this thing you know didn't uh, roll down the hill of course I got trees that would stop it but uh, <laughs> uh, if this thing did you know start rolling down the hill uh, it would be quite a ride there for a little bit. It would be a little nerve-wracking and just imagine all the damage we'd possibly do. Uh, I mean, come on, you got your power pedestal right here. You know, of course the trees would stop it, so I'm not gonna end up down there, but still. So anyway, just little things I wanna point out here. Uh, when we're in Florida, we don't have to worry about stuff like this at all. Not at all. But uh, when we're traveling in the Ozarks, uh, and this is one of the oldest campgrounds on Beaver Lake too, so they didn't go all out years ago when they put this thing in, you know, to get these as level as possible. And so this is what you run into. So just wanted to take a little time to, uh, to briefly mention and demonstrate or illustrate, I should say. And let me see if I can get this thing back where it's supposed to go, where it's supposed to be right. All right, hopefully that'll be right. What do you think? You think I it's think right? it's perfect. <laughs> we want to thank everyone. Yes. We are getting closer and closer to that 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> closer and closer. Yeah, I never dreamed that it would start going this so quick. So we really appreciate that. We also appreciate all of you guys that bought merchandise. Yep. And, um, it, uh, for those that are still that are interested in merchandise, they are at www.iridetinyhouseadventures.com and visit our store. You did good rattling that off. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Um, anyway. But we're over. Uh, we busted 19,900 subscribers uh, this morning. Uh, I haven't looked here in the last. Of course, I can't right now look at it because you know my phone. I'm using it. To, Mine's in the, the house, camera. so it won't ring and interrupt us. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're almost there, so I guess we'll be have to we'll have to do a live music show. You know, that's what you. And said. it looks like it might happen before we leave this campground, uh, <laughs> which we're here for a total of 14 days, and I think we got uh, 11 or 12 to go before we pull out of here. Yep. And go somewhere else, and we're gonna be kind of. For, for, for a week, week we'll be kind of sort of <laughs> relying on our solar panels again yep. for yep. a little bit yeah so we'll see how that goes and we'll document that as well but at that location perhaps maybe just maybe we'll get to work a little bit on the bathroom and get my shower well, and all that so. wrapped up i hope so <laughs> yeah that's part of the plan anyway we'll see how things go but anyway i guess we're going to go for now Okay. Is there anything? I don't know of no. anything else we Get need to talk go about. Get ready to go in town because it was more chilling. Yes, we are. <laughs> this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know what we're going to say? We're not camping. We're living. Y'all get out there and do some living. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.